back to another weekly vlog. Um, so today is Sunday and I am cooking. So I was in the middle of working on my reel and on Instagram I had asked you guys what types of videos you wanted to see from me um, and you mentioned cooking videos. So instead of dedicating like a whole video to cooking, maybe one day I'll do that. Um, I decided to integrate it into this week's vlog. So I'm actually so excited to show you guys what I'm making. For those of you who don't know, um, I am half Dominican and Puerto Rican. Um, my dad is Puerto Rican and Dominican. My grandpa was Dominican and my grandma was Puerto Rican. And my mom's black. Um, so growing up, uh, I ate good, okay? My mom held it down with soul food and stuff. And my dad, he loves to cook. So he would do, you know, rice and beans and, you know, traditional uh, Dominican Puerto Rican cuisine. So one of the recipes that I learned from him was arroz con guandules. No, I don't speak Spanish, so please do not come for me, okay? <laughs> but I do know how to make this rice. Um, it's my favorite type of rice and I love making it. There are lots of steps to it, but I want to show you guys how I make it so good. Um, so I'm going to show you guys how I make this rice. I Ignore my dishwasher, it's currently running, but I'm gonna make arroz con guandules and I'm also gonna make some empanadas. So I'm gonna show you guys um, how I do it. All right, so what I'm doing now is I'm, ooh, okay. <laughs> All right, so what I'm doing now is I'm cooking the meat for the empanadas. The meat's cooking, I'm gonna go ahead and chop up my veggies. So inside of the um, meat for the empanadas, I'm going to do a little bit of onion. I'm gonna do a little bit of green pepper, probably about half of green pepper, and then half of this red pepper here. Um, and I'm gonna wait until the meat is fully cooked, and then I'll add these in at the last step because I do not like overcooked um, veggies. So that's what I'm gonna do. And I'm not gonna use all of it because I need a little bit of the onion for the arroz con guandules, and I'm also making a special sauce for the empanadas. So I need a little bit of the onion for that. And then I need the rest of the peppers along with this orange pepper here um, for the rice, the arroz con guandules. Um, so that's what I'm gonna start chopping up now. Um, and yeah, we're just gonna, I made sure to rinse them. You gotta, you know, you gotta rinse your, your stuff. Um, and now I'm just gonna go ahead and start chopping. And don't forget to take the stickers off. Someone told me that you could eat the stickers. I'm like, I'm sorry. I'm not trying to eat the stickers in my food. I mean, I'm pretty sure that may be true. But like, what's, I mean, I don't know. I'm not about to eat a sticker. So I'm going to make sure I take, you know what? I'm just going to cut this part off. I'm not trying to eat no sticker. Adding a pack of the seasoning, Goya seasoning. Um, I'm gonna add a pack to this just to make sure everything is nice and seasoned. I love seasoning, guys. I do not skimp on seasoning. A little bit like that. Thicken everything up. So I'm gonna add the entire jar of tomato paste inside of here. Oh, I almost forgot. We need some garlic. Wait, I can't believe I almost forgot the garlic. I'm gonna rinse the jar off. If y'all don't rinse y'all's jars, y'all are nasty. So I just chopped up some cilantro and I'm mixing it in the meat. So I just have um, some olive oil and then I have um, the peppers and onions and stuff in here. Cooking down some. Going to do so. I'm gonna add a little bit of this sofrito. Need these green olives. So I'm gonna take a few of them. I don't like olives like that, but I love them in this rice, um, and that's what really adds a lot of flavor. So I'm gonna take a few of them and I'm gonna cut them up really small. Or garlic, avi, in these guandules. These are pretty much just like green pea um, tomato sauce. You need. You need this, this is what's gonna give the rice that red color. So I add about two packs of these in there. And then I add about one pack of the con cilantro and tomate. Um, I add about one pack of this in there. Try 
trying to make a reel too, so I'm like, oh, this is crazy. But I'm doing it for you guys. So I have everything in there, and now I'm going in with the most important one. This is the seasoning that turns the rice red. This is the consolantro in y achiote. Achiote? This one. When you were making this, you don't want to use steaming hot rice because if you do that, your rice is going to be very soggy. So when I make this, I make the rice ahead of time. So I made my rice a couple hours ago when I first got in and you wanna cook it. I'm sorry, I'm out of breath. I don't know why. But once you're done um, cooking, you want to take your rice, put it in a container and put it inside of the fridge. If you're in a rush, put it inside of the freezer. So that's what I did um, because you want your rice to settle because if you use fresh rice right away, your rice is gonna be so soggy and it's just not gonna be good. Um, so you want your rice to sit for a little bit. So mine is in the freezer now. I'm gonna go ahead and get it out and I'm going to literally just slowly add it to the mixture that we just made. Yeah, it is simmering nicely. Look at that. All that flavor. If you guys could smell this right now, it smells amazing. Slowly, and you see it's nice and hard. That's perfect. Um, when I cooked it, I didn't put a lot of water in it as much as I normally do um, because I wanted to make sure that the rice isn't soggy because that's the worst. I hate soggy rice. Y'all, I was freaking out for no reason. That was actually, <laughs> it actually ended up being perfect. <laughs> um, so what I did is I took my spoon and I like firmly pressed it um, like this so that um, everything can cook nicely. Um, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to lower my temperature from medium. I'm going to turn it to like low and I'm going to put the cover on top and let it um, continue to cook. In the meantime, I'm going to go ahead and assemble my empanadas and I'm not going to talk too much because I don't know why I'm out of breath <laughs> and I'm in the middle of watching a video. So I'm not going to talk too much. I'm just going to set you guys up so you guys can see the way I am assembling my empanadas. It's super simple. Um, I got these. I had to go to another store to find them. They weren't at HEB, so I had to get these. I haven't tried this brand yet, um, so we'll see. I gotta work an entire year to make $40,000 a year. You're gonna pay me this and I don't have to commute? Young 20-something are all over this shit. Quit fighting your nature, ladies. The, the title is hey guys, welcome to another day. Um, another day in my life. So I just got off of work. I came to my apartment. I changed into something comfy. And now I'm about to go out and run a few errands. I say a few errands, but it's literally just two things that I need to get done. I need to go pick up a pair of pants I had dropped off um, to get altered. And then I need to go get my nails done. Um, so I just threw on something really simple, really casual. I started my period today, so I feel kind of out of it, drained, bloated. I just, I don't know. So I wanted to change into something comfy. Um, so I'm just wearing this black bodysuit and a pair of leggings. I got both of these things from Amazon. This is like my go-to casual outfit. Um, I'll have my Amazon storefront linked um, in the description in case you want to check it out. I'm wearing this hat that I had on 747 Collection, which um, those of you who don't know, that's my boutique. I had launched these hats um, about a year ago and they did really well. They ended up selling out. Um, I may get more. Um, I don't know, but I love them. <laughs> I'm obsessed. Um, so I'm wearing this hat. I'm not wearing any makeup. So I feel like this is a good way to keep me incognito, you know? And I just kind of like the way that the black goes with the all black outfit. I was gonna wear my boots, but I'm still debating if I wanna get a pedicure or not. The only reason, I don't know, I'm not sure. I may just wait till this weekend so I'm not in there for super long. Cause I'm not really in the mood to be sitting in a salon for that long, so. I don't know we'll see um so i'm wearing little foam runners um just in case i decide to get a pedicure and then i'm wearing my vintage prada backpack um so yeah i'm gonna take you guys along with me today 
um, running errands and stuff after work. Let's see if my pants are ready. She said that they would be ready yesterday, so they should be. Let's see. Let me know in the comments down below if you think this is kind of weird. So when I had went to drop my stuff off, um, I dropped it off last, I want to say it was like last Friday or something. And I dropped it off and she was like, oh, can you pay me now? And I'm like, so you want me to pay before you do the work? And she was like, yeah. And she said something like the reason why. And I was like, hmm, that's weird. I've never had to like pay something before someone does the work like I've had alterations before and normally like you pay after you've tried it on and like you've you know seen how it is like you pay after the surface is done so I thought that was a little weird um let me know in the comments down below what you think but yeah I just picked up my pants I hope they work I'm gonna try them on when I get home and if they don't look good if they don't if they're not right I'm gonna bring them right back over here So it is the next day. I'm getting ready right now to go out for dinner. Long story short, so I went to get my nails done, right? And um, I, so if, if y'all are in Houston, I recommend Gloss Nail Bar. They're so good with their designs. The only thing is like, I'm so sporadic sometimes that I never like plan out like, oh, on this date, at this time, I'm about to go get my nails done. I just like randomly wake up and I'm like, you know what, I want a design. Like typically, I've just been getting French chips. So for that, it's like most places do a good job. I normally go to Coco Nail Spa and they're pretty good. Um, and yeah, so not everyone in there knows how to do designs, but it is what it is. Like they do a good job, um, really professional. They get you in and out. Um, and they're really good for, you know, basic nails. There are a few techs in there that specialize in designs. Um, so it's cool. It's convenient. Um, gloss though, you have to set an appointment because they are booked and busy. Okay. But they're a top tier when it comes to nails and like designs and stuff. So if I know for a fact that I want to design, like if I'm going out of town, I'll book with gloss because and I'll book with like a certain nail tech that I know does a wonderful job. Um, but yesterday was kind of sporadic. I was like, you know what, I kind of want to design. Because like I'm always doing the same white tip French nails, which I love. But I was like, I kind of want something a little different. So I kind of wanted like this tortoise style um, design. It wasn't exactly tortoise, but you kind of get the hint. Um, I'll put a picture so you guys can see. Or I think I showed you guys in the clip how I wanted my nails. It was that was the inspo pick that I showed the lady. And anytime I have an inspo pick, I am sure to tell them, like, I'm not someone who is unreasonable. I'm not saying, like, it has to be exactly like the picture, but, you know, I want it to look like it, you know? Um, you know, it gives you an idea of what I want. And I always show them before I even sit down in the chair, because it's like, if y'all can't do it, tell me, and I won't, I won't do it. Especially if y'all have the nerve, y'all are going to be charging all this extra for a design, y'all better do it right. Okay, so anyways, um, I showed them the design and the lady, she's like, oh yeah, yeah, this is easy. This is easy. I can do that. That's easy. And as soon as she said that, that's when I knew it was about to go a little downhill from there because I'm like, you are way too, like, you are so confident. Like, it's good to be confident, but the way she was saying it, she was looking, she was like, that's easy. <laughs> that's easy. And I'm like, okay, I love the confidence, sis, but, um... That's also a red flag because, you know, it could go both ways. You could either, like, really do it or you can, you know, struggle a little bit. So, we'll see. 
So anyways, she's doing my nails and I'm really, I'm so nice guys. Like especially when I'm getting my nails done and I'm getting any type of surface done. I am extremely nice. Like I was not rude at all. Um, but at the same time, I speak my mind and especially when I'm getting a service done like my nails, like as much as they be charging, I, I'm going to speak up if I don't like something. So the first thing was she started cutting me and I'm like, ow, and I'm pulling away because it's like, yo, you chopping me up. I didn't come in here for surgery. Like <sighs> you're over here with the drill slicing my, slicing my stuff. Like what? So I'm over here like, ow. And she's like, I didn't cut you. I said, yes, you did, and I pointed. She was like, but it's not bleeding. I was like, still, you you cut, you nipped my stuff, like it hurts. Yeah, I'm gonna flinch. Um, what? And then how are you gonna tell me that you didn't cut me? I'm the person, of course, I know if I've gotten nipped, cut, whatever. Like, yeah, I may not be bleeding right now, but it stings, it hurts. You, you sliced, you sliced my skin. You see the piece of skin hanging from there. You know, you did something. I wouldn't be jumping for no reason. So that was the first old thing. I'm like, hmm, um, okay, yeah, <laughs> all right, okay. So then she does it again. And it's like, she's pressing down hard. And like, you know, when they press down hard and like your nail bed is kind of thin and it's like burning. That's what was happening. I was like, it burns. And she was like, you, you're sensitive, you're sensitive. I'm like, yo, stop telling me how I'm supposed to feel. Like, this stuff hurts. It's not that I'm sensitive. I get my nails done every two weeks. I know how getting nails, I know how it feels. But she's like, you're sensitive, you're sensitive. Yo, can you, can you call me sensitive one more time? I was getting, like, kind of, kind of like, what? So she's like, you're sensitive, you're sensitive. And I'm like, oh, okay. And she's like, I'll just be gentle. I was like, yeah, please, thank you. Because uh, it just hurts. Like, I was like, this one burns, and then you nip me here. Like, the skin is coming off. Like, I would appreciate if you could be just a little bit more gentle. Because she was kind of heavy-handed. Um, So, that was that. And so, fast forward, it's time for the design. And she's so nice, guys. Like, she was not mean. It was just like, she was kind of talking back. Like, I didn't like that. Um, so anyways, fast forward, she's more gentle, she does not cut me, and I really appreciate that she started taking her time, um, and was being more gentle, you know, with my nails. So then the design comes, and she keeps wanting to see the picture. And I'm like, okay, this is a picture, and she's like, okay, yeah, yeah. And then she's looking at the colors, and she picks out this bright orange. It says this? I said, absolutely not. No. I'm, I don't want orange bright neon orange and then she's like picking all these colors and i'm really into shades of stuff like i'm very particular about my colors like shades i can i have like a really good eye when it comes to colors and i i just i knew the type of shade i wanted and she's picking these bright neon oranges and i'm like that's not no and so then she's like well help me and i'm standing up and trying to help her pick out the stuff and she's like no no i'm like yes yes and so then she brings another lady and she's like, um, trying to get her to help. And I point to the color that I was pointing at and the lady's like, yeah, that one. And I'm like, yeah, that lady would be trying to pick out neon orange. So then what I liked though, is she started mixing the colors and she like, I asked her, I was like, can you swatch it on my nail to make sure I like the color? And so she did. And she was very patient with me. And like, she even started mixing it until like, I liked the color. So that was really nice of her. Um, and then she starts doing my nails and I like them. I like how they turned out, but it does not look like the picture. And if I didn't like them, I would have spoke up and said something like that happened before where I had them do this design and I did not like how the designs turned back and I ended up telling them and they, they fixed it. Like the owner, she's so nice. So I would have said something if I didn't like it. Um, I like these. I love them. They're different, but they do not look lo exactly like the picture. And the... <sighs> she I was like oh this is nice like I like how she was really taking her time and y'all she was bouncing up in her seat she was like it's just like the picture <laughs> she was like it's just like the picture like each nail she did and I'm looking I was like in my head like oh shoot it's just like the picture hold up hold up and then she showed me and I was like um so it doesn't look just like the picture um and it's okay I did tell you at first it did not have to look like the picture but I was like can you add a little bit of brown to it? And then she just did like this line. I was like, nah, I don't like it. Like, I don't like that blob of brown. Like that just threw it off. 
Um, I was like, I really like them. They're really cute. It's just, it, they don't look just like the picture. But she was so happy. She's like, it's just like the picture. And in my head, I'm like, no, it's really not just like the picture. It's cute, but it's not just like the picture. Um, <laughs> so anyways, I was saying this in my head because I didn't want to, like, I think I said it once. Like, oh, it doesn't look like the picture, but it's okay. I like the vibe. It's still, like, abstract. It still looks really cool. And I love that she was taking her time and she was so patient with me mixing those colors. Like, I, she was so sweet. So I really appreciate it. And I do like them. Um, but yeah, she was like, it's just like the picture. I'm like, lady, it's not just like the picture. And then she's like, well, it's just because, like, your nails are shorter and you got square instead of almond, so there's not enough space. I was like, okay, yeah. I like that you explained it like that because I understand, like, if I had more space, then you could have added some more brown, like, you know, it would look, you know, different. Um, so I understand that. Like, I'm, I have square nails and in the picture it was almond, so I get it. I get it. But, yeah, she was so happy, guys. Like, she was so, she was, like, bouncing up and down. Just like, <laughs> and I'm like, hey, like, <laughs> she was so happy. And I'm just happy that, you know, she, she gained that confidence. Because at first she was nervous. She kept doing it and wiping it off, doing it, wiping it off. But she, she held it down. And, um. I'm, I'm, I really like them. They're cute. But I just thought it was funny. And so I posted on my Instagram. I was like, see, this is why I can't do Get Ready With Me. Did you see? I just like stopped doing my makeup and I'm just talking. And I literally have to be gone in like 10 minutes. Um, but anyways, I'm going to wrap this up. <laughs> and then I'll come back and show you guys the finished look. But um, yeah, so I had posted a reel on Instagram. And I had asked the question. I was like, do y'all speak up when you get your nails done? And it's funny, like, the responses I was getting, some of y'all had me dying in the comments. Like, I could not stop laughing, like, reading some of them. This one girl was like, I'll, I'm cursing everybody out. And I'm like, well, you don't gotta do that. <laughs> but, you know, I feel like that sometimes, especially when they act like they know what to do. And then you sit down and they start doing it and it's like, they don't know. Um, but, yeah, I had posted that. And then I have posted like a poll on my story and just seeing the responses are so funny. And it's just really interesting how some people are really nervous to speak up. And if that's you, it's okay. I understand. I've been there before when I was like younger, I was kind of scared to speak up. But you know, the older I get, I'm like, okay, this is my money. Okay, me getting my nails done is a luxury. Like I don't have to go get my nails done. I do it because I truly enjoy getting my nails done. So if I'm, if I'm paying out on something, I want it to be done to my liking. It does not have to be perfect. I'm not unreasonable. I'm not like, it has to look just like the picture. But I want it to look nice. Like, I want to be happy with it at the end. Um, and if not, I'm going to speak up. And y'all are going to either A, fix it until I like it. Or like, you know, we're going to have to figure something out. So, I don't know. I just thought that was funny. Um, and yeah, that was my quick little story time. Now i got to continue doing my makeup because I'm running late finished getting ready and I wanted to show you guys what I'm wearing my outfit for the night this outfit is super rushed so I apologize in advance but I've been really liking classy vibes um, the restaurant that we're going to is Joey Uptown I vlogged there before um, it's really nice elegant sophisticated and I just wanted to throw on something kind of nice um, because I've just been feeling kind of, I don't know, I just wanted to wear like classy vibes. I'm wearing this blazer that I thrifted a long time ago back home. I really like it. It's like white and black and then it has thick shoulder pads and like a velvet collar. And then I'm wearing this bodysuit, this black bodysuit. Um, the back is all open, but this is the only long sleeve bodysuit I have. So I really need to go get some more because that's just unacceptable. Little oh, white skirt. This is very bold of me wearing this guys because I'm on my period and I cannot believe I'm wearing white on my period. <sighs> Wish me luck. Um, and then I'm wearing these Gucci tights that I got years ago. Um, these black shiny square toe boots that I got from Topshop and then my bag that I got from Amazon. So this is the look. I don't know. The more I look at it, the more I don't like it. Um, it's something about the white skirt that throw me off. I wish I had some black bottoms, but I don't. Um, I don't have like a black skirt. I need to order this in black because I really love this skirt. Um, but yeah, this is my look. I think it looks very classy. Yeah, those are just the vibes I've been on, just classy vibes. So 
this is my look if anything i will pull you guys out when i get there like i said i'll probably be vlogging on my phone um but yeah guys i'll see y'all when i get home i just got back from dinner um had went out with my friend and we literally just had the best laugh like i could not stop laughing <laughs> I'm not even going to try to explain what it is because if I explain it, it's just not going to be funny. <laughs> but I can't stop laughing. But anyways, I just made it back home. Dinner was fire. I love Joey's Uptown. If y'all are ever in Houston, please check it out. It is amazing. Eh, what? Anyways, I will talk to y'all tomorrow. <laughs> so I just got back from the gym. I'm about to make some avocado toast. I'm drinking my premier protein this is my first time trying this flavor i normally get the vanilla um but this one is pretty good i like that it's coffee because you know me i gotta have my coffee every day so this is perfect um but while i'm cooking i just wanted to share like a little story time about what happened at the gym Thanks to my um apartment gym i normally don't work out at my apartment gym i have a gym membership um that's a, that's a whole nother story of of that um but yeah so i have a gym membership and um but i knew i wanted to film so i was like let me just go to the front of my apartment because i knew it would be awkward <laughs> if i'm like at this gym on a saturday morning it gets so packed in there guys and i just i knew me and i would not want to have my camera out trying to get little cute little clips so i'm like let me just go to the one downstairs it was still a nice little workout but there's something about my gym that I just love, like the machines, the weights and everything. Um, the one in my apartment, it's okay, um, but it's just not the best. So anyways, it's just too small. So anyways, I go to the gym because I'm like, you know, not a lot of people are in there. Um, so I should have the flexibility to like film and stuff. False. <laughs> people started coming in, so I wasn't able to get that many clips. Um, so, uh, yeah, so I wasn't able to get that many clips, but it's whatever, it's cool. Um, so anyways, while I go in there, I see this tall, cute, dark, handsome, with a beard. He's on the treadmill, and I went over there and I got on the treadmill too, because that's how I warm up. Um, and I felt cute or whatnot in my little two-piece. So I'm on the treadmill. <laughs> and, um, anyways, I've seen him around the apartment, too. I'm like, oh, okay. But he's on the phone with a girl. I'm like, oh, okay, he got a girl, okay. But they're not just talking. They're in a heated argument, y'all. Like, they're going through it. And, honestly, it kind of brought back flashbacks of being in a relationship that just kind of turned unhealthy and toxic and not all the blame on like the person but like toxic behavior from me like when i was in college and i was a lot younger i remember just like not being in control of my emotion and like going back and forth waking up early this was towards the end of the relationship but like you know anger and stuff like that carrying on to the next day and waking up early calling him us going back and forth and hanging up calling back and like that used to take so much energy from me and I spent most of my time doing that. Like, it just was crazy. Like, it was so toxic, so crazy. And I feel like I've, obviously, I've, I've definitely grown since then. I feel like I've worked on myself a whole lot and I'm so grateful for these years, like being single and just like loving myself and like learning myself, um, just growing up, like <laughs> maturing. So I feel like I'm definitely ready for a relationship now that I'm older, more wise, um, have myself together more. I don't know, it, it was a whole lot. Maybe one day I'll make a story time about that because that was crazy. Um, literally, like I was going crazy. 
Um, but yeah, so anyways, uh, it just brought back flashbacks and I'm like, oh no, <laughs> being single, like, I, it feels good to wake up unbothered. Like, yeah, you know, you got your guys that you deal with. You got little, you know, beef and stuff with certain guys. But I never let anything get, oh, like, get control of me. You know what I mean? Like, I never really carry things onto the next day. Like, I'm not, like, situations happen. Like, there was one little thing that happened. But, like, I don't let it take control of me. And it just feels so good to, like, wake up and, like, live my life. And like not have anybody on me not having like having any anger like those calls like oh my gosh but not gonna lie like it also it was crazy that that happened because should i make one egg or two eggs i think i'll make two all right so anyways um i recently i've been thinking like i'm so tired of being single honestly for real sick and tired of being single and I've been feeling that recently. Like, I'm just over it. I'm over being single. I think I'm gonna make two toast. Aw, oh, so I should have scooted this one over. I'm like, I'm so tired of being single. Like, I'm ready for a relationship. I, you know, I've dealt with guys here and there since my last relationship, but it hasn't been anything like official. Um, and at first it was fun first it was like I feel like I definitely needed that <laughs> um and especially you know with being new to the city I wasn't trying to jump into anything serious but I feel like the person I am like I just am a relationship type of girl I'm not a casual casual dating no title type of person um it's just not me and I'm just sick and tired of being single <laughs> Um, but that situation at the gym made me realize I'm not, like, I'm not trying to be with just any guy, you know? Like, I'm not trying to go through that mess again, like, like craziness. Like, I want a guy who's, like, emotionally ready and mature, like, I don't know. It has to be, like, a specific guy. Like, in a rush, like, to just get in a random relationship, because if that's the case, I would have been in one. I'm just looking for something real. I'm looking for something like, like something solid. You know what I mean? Good. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to share that with you guys. It was crazy. I'm like, oh shoot. I'm over here like, oh, I want a relationship. But then it's like, you forget about that part. You know, because when you love somebody, arguing and stuff kind of gets to you, you know? So you have to create like a balance, like, a, I don't know, but yeah, it was crazy. And I'm like, I felt bad for the girl because he was being so disrespectful, guys. He was going off, that's another thing. Like, it's a difference. Like, yeah, you're gonna have your disagreements, but like the way he was talking, I was like, oh no, no, no. I thought you were cute, but you just now look ugly as, you know, like in my eyes, because like, the way he was talking, they were arguing because I was trying not to eavesdrop, but he was going off. Like I had my AirPods in, I still could hear him. Um, he was like, they were mad because he posted a picture of roses on his story. And she's like, why would you do that? He was like, I could post whatever I want. I could do whatever I want. You posted something too. Um, like he was just like being so rude to her. And, like, I don't know the full story, so I can't judge or anything, but from the sounds of it, I'm, like, listening to him, like, oh, no, if a guy talked like that to me, luckily I haven't been in a, well, I've been in some situations, but <laughs> they always end up getting put in their place, but I'm, like, if a guy talks like that to me, I'm, I'm off the phone, I'm done. Like, he was being so rude, like, and then he just, like, was hanging up and then calling back, like, it was a mess, a mess. And then he starts running fast on the treadmill and like moving his hands like he was listening to music, rapping. I'm like, yo, bro, you are childish. Like the things he was saying towards her, I'm like, you got me effed up. But like I said, I don't know the whole story. So, you never know. But yeah, he, it, was, it was a mess. Yeah, you're gonna have your disagreements, but there also needs to be a respect towards each other. And once that's gone, it's a wrap. 
So, yeah. <laughs> Thanks for coming to my TED talk. All right guys, so I just finished my avocado toast. Ignore the way it looks like, it does not look the cutest, but I know it's about to hit. Guys, um, so it's later on in the day. Um, I got ready and um, now I'm meeting my friend. He's gonna show me his Airbnb. Um, so if anything, I'll talk to you guys later. Hey guys, so I just got home. Um, I didn't vlog much while I was, um, over there. I was just meeting one of my friends. He had gotten, um, he's into Airbnbs and he wanted to show me a new property that he just got. Um, so that was pretty cool. So just went over there, chilled. Um, and now I'm home. Um, so that was just so inspiring, so motivating because literally we were talking about Airbnbs and stuff like last year at this time and just to see that this is like the second property that he's gotten is just so motivating and it's time for me to start getting some Airbnbs, you know? I want to go ahead and start editing this. I feel like I got a lot of random footage if not i think i'm gonna go ahead and close the vlog out here um as always thank you so much for watching i truly appreciate all of you guys and all of my new subscribers and stuff i appreciate you guys so much um thank you so much for watching this week's vlog and as always i will see you guys very soon in the next one bye guys